Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language and machine learning. So in this video I will attempt to predict the price of NVIDIA stock using a machine learning algorithm. Now I'm currently on Google's website, it's called colab.research.google.com and I'm on it because it makes it easy to get started programming in Python. So if you're going to program along with me just go to this website then log in using your Google account and then click on file and click on new notebook where a new tab will open up for you and eventually a new cell will open up for you okay so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some comments I'm going to put import the libraries to note that I'm going to import the libraries here so let's go ahead and start importing these libraries that I'm going to be using throughout this program so I'm going to import pandas as pd and I'm going to import numpy as np and then from sklearn.ensemble I'm going to import random forest regressor regressor okay and I'm also going to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and then I'm going to run this cell by clicking this button here to the left now before we continue if you like the videos on this channel then be sure to click that subscribe and like button and to be notified about new videos from this channel hit that bell notification also you can get the code or data set or just support the channel on patreon at patreon.com slash computer science and I will leave a link for that in the description below also the material in this video is purely educational and should not be taken as professional investment advice so with all that being said, let's continue. Let's click on the code button in the top left to create a new cell. And in this cell, I'm going to read in the data. So I'm going to create a variable called df, which will be short for data frame. I'm going to set it equal to pd.read underscore csv. And then I'm going to input the name of the file. But first, I need to upload the file. So let's go ahead and click on this folder here. Let's click on upload. And I'm going to upload this stock data NVIDIA file, specifically stock underscore data underscore NVDA dot CSV. Okay. And of course, we got a little warning before, but that was okay. So I just clicked okay for that. All right. So I want to read in that file. So I need to put the name stock underscore data underscore NVDA dot CSV. And let's go ahead and exit this here. And then I want to show the data. So I'm just going to type DF here. So NVIDIA has been doing pretty well this year. And they will be having a stock split soon this week. So I figured why not do this machine learning video on NVIDIA. All right. And of course, they are being used a lot for artificial intelligence and machine learning. Right. They create all the the hardware for that. All right, so let's go ahead and run the cell. And now we can see we have the date column, the open price, the high price, the low price, the close price, the adjusted close price, and the volume. And we have about 251 rows of data. So we have about 251 days worth of data, trading days worth of data for NVIDIA. All right, and it's from 2023 to 2024. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new cell. Now in this cell, I want to plot the data. So I'm going to type df.plot and I'm going to set x equal to date and I'm going to set y equal to close. Okay? And then I'm going to give this plot a rotation for the x ticks. So I'm going to type plt dot x ticks, and then set the rotation to be equal to 95 degrees. And then I'm going to give this plot a title. So I'm going to type plt dot title and call it close price history. All right. Next, I'm going to give the y axis a label. So I'm going to type plt dot y label and I'm going to put price as the label and then I'm going to type plt dot show to show the plot so let's go ahead and run this and let's take a look at the chart all right so we can see that Nvidia has done very well in the past year right it went from about 
$400 to over $1,100 in a year. That's very good. All right, so let's create a new cell. And let's create the model. So I'm going to create a variable called model and set it equal to random forest regressor. And I'm just going to run this. Let's create a new cell. And in this cell, I want to train the model. So in order to do this, I need to create my feature data set and my target data set. So I'm going to create a variable called x and set it equal to df. And we're going to get the open price column and the high price column and the low price column and the volume okay so the feature data set is just the data set that we're going to input into our model right to get some output which will be our target all right so we're going to input all this data about the open price high price low price and volume and then we're going to get the future close price really tomorrow's close price all right so we have our feature data set let's limit the data a little bit so I want to get all of the data except for the last two rows of data all right and that's so I can use this later on to kind of test on just a, a little bit a small sample all right so I want all of the rows except for the last two so I just put length df minus 2 here all right so this will give me all of the rows in X except the last two all right so now we have our feature data set so let's create a target data set so I'm gonna create a variable called Y for our target and our target will be the close price but we don't want just the close price for the row we want the close price for tomorrow so I'm gonna put dot shift negative one and tomorrow being the next row of data right okay and then similarly to what we did with the feature data set that we called X I'm gonna get all of the rows except for the last two rows of data for Y so I'm just gonna type Y and basically the same thing integer length df minus 2 basically the same thing that we did for our feature data set here okay so this will give me all of the data except the last two rows of data for y all right now we can actually train the model so I want to type model dot fit and fit is another name for train and we're going to input our feature data set x and put in our target data set y and this will train our model so let's go ahead and run this all right that looks good I'm gonna create a new cell okay so now in this cell let's test the model so I'm going to print here the model score is and I'll put a colon and then we just type model dot score put in X comma Y and this will let us know how accurate that model was on the training data set so the model is about 99.81 percent accurate on the training data set which is really good all right let's go ahead and create a new cell and let's make predictions all right so I'm going to create a variable called new underscore data so this will be data that the model has never seen before and I'm gonna set it equal to basically the same thing that we set our feature data set equal to so I'm just gonna come up here highlight it copy using control C come down here and paste it using control V except this time I only want the second to last row of data so I'm gonna put dot tail and then put two now this will give us the last two rows of data I only want the second to last row and not both rows of data so I need to put 0 colon 1 all right now this will give me the second to last row of data from our DF data set that's our original data set right and this this is data that 
we didn't train the model on. Okay, so I'm going to create another variable called prediction, and I'm going to set it equal to model.predict, and we're going to input, you guessed it, new underscore data. All right. Now I'm going to create a print statement, and I'm going to put the model predicts the last day to be colon, or I should put the model predicts the last day price to be colon, comma, prediction. All right, so we're using the second to last row of data to predict the last row of data's close price. So let's put another print statement and let's print the actual value for that last row of data. So the actual value will be df close dot tail one. All right, and to make it look a little bit better, I'm just going to put dot values position zero zero. All right, so this is the last row's close price. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so the model predicts the last day price to be about $1,116.98 and the actual value was $1,150. Now we can double check that. We can go all the way back up here. We can see the close price column here. So this was indeed the, the last day's close price, which was $1,150. So our model was off by about, what does that look like? 1150 by 34 dollars if I'm doing my math correctly approximately 34 33 dollars so the machine learning model was about 99.81 percent accurate on the training data but its predicted value was a little off from the actual value although it was pretty close again this is just a fun model and it isn't perfect so be sure to test the model with more data and tweak it a bit. And I hope you really enjoyed this video. So thank you for watching. And a special thanks to the Patreon supporters on Patreon.com. Again, if you would like to become a supporter of this channel, I will leave a link to the Patreon page, which is Patreon.com slash Computer Science in the description below. And there you can get the code or the data set or just support the channel. So thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.